Welcome to Pikeville Medical Center's Health Talk. Do you have a family practice physician? How do you choose the right doctor for you and your family? What questions do you need to ask your doctor to make sure he or she is the right doctor for you? What can you expect from Pikeville Medical Center's Family Practice Clinic? These are just a few of the questions we'll be discussing today on Health Talk. Our special guest, Dr. Odaham and Dr. Hatton. So let's begin the program by finding out a little about our doctors. Hi, I'm Larry Odeham. I'm family practice here at Pikeville Medical Center. I've recently joined the staff at Pikeville Medical Center. Uh, I come to you from Kansas City, uh, Missouri, where I went to medical school, and I've been in practice in St. Louis for the last 13 years. Uh, I split my time with Pikeville, uh, or Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine, formerly Pikeville College, and, uh, and I teach there uh, the first part of the week, and then the last part of the week I work here at the clinic. Hi, my name is Dr. Jonathan Hatton. I'm a first year family practice resident here at Pikeville Medical Center. I did my uh, medical training at uh, Pikeville College School of Osteopathic Medicine and this is my first year here in the Pikeville Family Practice Clinic. So what do family practice physicians do? Doctors need a lot of training. I wonder if there's any specific training for family practice physicians. What do they treat? Uh, a lot of people have that question about uh, what is family practitioner. Um, prior to 1984, when an individual went to medical school and then they finished, they would typically go to a hospital and do one year of postgraduate training a as an intern in a hospital. Uh, many of those people would complete that one year of training and then go out into practice and go in as a general practitioner. After 1984, most insurance companies required additional postgraduate training for them to for uh, physicians to be put on their list uh, to for for uh, a physician to see um, the people they insure, and then uh, uh, residencies became uh, in vogue. Now most people that treat families uh, do a three-year postgraduate uh, study in family medicine. Myself, I'm board certified in family medicine uh, by the ACOFP, the Osteopathic uh, Family Practitioners Board. Uh, but that's the difference. General practitioners have one year postgraduate training and family practitioners have three years postgraduate training. Is there a difference between a family doctor and a general physician? The difference between a family doctor and <clears throat> the general other doctor uh, is basically that uh, family doctors uh, have a broad knowledge base and can treat uh, people of various age groups. Uh, some family docs see uh, lots of children, others kind of leave that to the pediatricians. But the primary difference is uh, specialists specialize, as the name implies, in a specific uh, organ system or something like that. For instance, cardiologists deal primarily with the heart, ophthalmologists with the eyes. Family practitioners are basically the first line of care. You come see your family practice doctor for basic lab screening, uh, those types of things. Your family practitioner is really the person who coordinates your care. Uh, it's easy that when you have multiple health problems for your care to get fragmented. You, you may be seeing a cardiologist, you may be seeing an orthopedic surgeon, but it's really your family practitioner who brings all that information together and make sure there's not duplication of medicines and, and activities. And, and then they're your educator, they're your teacher. They try to explain to you what's going on in your life and, and what the best plan of action would be for you. So they're your, they're your friend, they're your educator, they're your coordinator. Tell me about an MD and a DO. MD? Or DO. Explain the difference of an MD and a DO. We get this question a lot about the difference between an MD and a DO, and and uh, it, the answer kind of varies. But I'm I'm going to give you a few aspects. Uh, in osteopathic training, we train our physicians to look at structural problems of the spine, and that's why a lot of people will tell you that they saw their osteopath for a back problem or a problem in their shoulder. Um, Philosophically, uh, we like to look at the whole person and we look at your, your psychological well-being, your structural well-being, um, and your nutritional well-being, and we try to combine that all into one uh, person that's you. 
I think another thing I think would be beneficial is everyone who practices osteopathy in the United States is trained in the United States and uh, and they get trained with English as their first language so most osteopaths are very good communicators and uh, and I think this is something that, that a lot of people have in their heart when they go to a to a doctor that they want to they want to feel that there's a connection made, a one-on-one -on -one connection with their, with their doctor. And we really pay special attention in this training program uh, to provide that to you. I don't have any health problems. Why do I need a family doctor? That's a good question. We often get that question as well. Uh, and basically it is uh, because you need an annual physical exam. Uh, m patients, pretty much regardless of age, need uh, some baseline laboratories done uh, every year and just a good physical exam every year. Uh, the case with most uh, illnesses, uh, if there is an early diagnosis, outcomes tend to be better. So the earlier you catch it, uh, really the better your chances are having a good outcome. So it's important to establish care with a doctor, come in and see them as scheduled and uh, help develop a, a good rapport with your doctor and a good plan of treatment. An another reason to have a family doctor is a lot of people use the emergency room as their primary care uh, provider. Uh, so they don't, they don't have an affiliation uh, with a doctor who knows them. And so every time they have a, a, an issue that they need addressed, they go into the emergency room and they see someone who has no idea about them, who has to go through an entire history to find out details. And then, and then when they leave the emergency room, they can be lost to follow up. So in family medicine, we get to know our patients and that that when you have a problem you're not reintroducing yourself to a different person each time and so the cost of medicine by establishing with a primary care family physician uh, is way less expensive for you than repeatedly going to the emergency room and clogging the emergency room for needs that really should be cared for by your primary provider. Continuity is very important like Dr. Odeham said if you're using the emergency room, the continuity is almost always lost. And that's one value of having a family practice doc. You can come in, see him, he knows you, knows your conditions, there isn't, uh, uh, he hasn't go digging through the past every time, he, he knows you well and knows what you're being treated for. And, and who's gonna follow your care? You know, if, if, if you have a, you know, you, you're supposed to see an orthopedic doctor, that orthopedic doctor doesn't take your insurance for some reason, what do you do? Who, who takes care of you then? That's primary care's job, your family doctor, to assist you in those kind of unforeseen problems and make sure that you get the care you need and not a bunch of things you don't need. How do I go about making an appointment? Do I choose my doctor? There are so many doctors at Pikeville Medical Center's Family Practice Clinic. Do I choose or am I assigned a doctor? So how do I choose which doctor I get at the clinic? It's a very simple process uh, to find a family doctor. Um, like Dr. Odeham said earlier, basically most people arrive at their family doc by word of mouth. They get referred from a family member, a friend, someone, uh, recommends a doc and they come and see them. Uh, if that's not the case, uh, then you can just phone in, uh, schedule an appointment here at the Pikeville Medical Center. Uh, you can call 218-4800. Uh, that's the number for our uh, front desk in our family practice clinic. You can schedule an appointment, tell them you're a new patient, and they will assign you, uh, a, a randomly assign you a doc, depending on who has uh, appointments available uh, on that particular day. You come in, see the doc, and if things click well with the doc, you can choose to stay with that particular physician. Uh, if you're displeased, then you can request a different physician uh, on the follow-up visit. Um, things that are important, uh, when choosing a doctor are communication. Uh, you need to be comfortable. Uh, there needs to be a certain level of trust uh, with your family practice doc that's very important. And you need to be able to communicate. Uh, it's, um, there's confidentiality uh, when, when you're uh, in the room with the patient so you can disclose anything uh, and feel assured that it's not gonna leave the room because there are laws protecting you from that that's privileged material and it helps uh, to be honest and to be able to trust your physician. Yeah, I would agree with that in, in its entirety that, that you really need to feel a one-on-one -on -one connection with your doctor and you need to have someone who you feel is listening 
uh, to your issues and addressing your problems. What can Pikeville Medical Center offer my family at the Family Practice Clinic? Since the lab is in the hospital, can I get my lab work done before I leave? You know, we might be able to get our x-rays done since we are already in the hospital. Special services available at the clinic, um, there are many. Uh, we do a lot of sports physicals, uh, CDL physicals, those types of things. If you need that done, it's a great place to get that because we have uh, at least 20 docs on staff in the family practice clinic. So you're going to be able to, to get an appointment uh, in a timely manner so that you can get those sports physicals taken care of for the upcoming season or a new job or, or whatever you need. Also, um, there's a number of uh, in-house or in-clinic tests that we can provide. We have recently started doing some um, pulmonary functioning uh, tests here, a little bit of spirometry. We have things like uh, urinalysis uh, on the spot. We have uh, rapid streps, things like that, the quick uh, little tests that we can do. And we also have the benefit of being in the hospital. And so we have all the luxuries uh, provided by the hospital. You can get your laboratory work done here, radiology done here without having to leave, without having to drive all over town. You can just step down the hall and get your uh, labs, radiology done, and then be on your way. And the information is readily available for your doc because you have it done in-house. We can just pull it up on the computer and, and actually show you the results if you'd like to see them or discuss them with you on your visits. One other thing that's offered uh, at, at our clinic is, um, is osteopathic care. and. Uh, a lot of people in the area really aren't familiar with what, what osteopathic physicians do. Uh, we're trained to treat the entire structural component uh, of the body, uh, much like would be done, uh, you might think of in chiropractic, uh, but, our, but our training is, uh, is different. Uh, we've, we pay attention to not only your spinal alignment and, uh, and the motion of your shoulders, wrists, elbows, um, in all the different joints. Uh, we do uh, muscular release ty uh, type of treatment in addition to the uh, typical spinal adjusting I think you may be familiar with. Um, but uh, the, th the, uh, the thing that a patient can benefit from that is that if you're having a structural problem, shoulder pain, hip pain, knee pain, back pain, uh, those can all be addressed by your family physician and you're not you're not spreading yourself around several different places to get your care. And I think it's a, a lot of people find that of great benefit. We can, and just to add to that a little bit, um, we treat a much wider variety of uh, disorders than uh, a general chiropractor. We can treat things such as headache, uh, sinus congestion, uh, otitis media, all kinds of things we can address osteopathically through manipulation. Uh, it's not just cracking backs, uh, so to speak. Sometimes it's really difficult to get an appointment to see the doctor, and by that time, you're well. You know, sometimes it's really hard to get an appointment. How long do I have to wait? Do I have to wait forever to get an appointment? As far as the timing uh, it takes to get an appointment with our docs, it's actually pretty good. We have a large uh, staff and a fairly large clinic. Uh, we have a good volume of patients, so we keep the flow going. Uh, typically, um, if you schedule an appointment, that, that appointment will be honored, but should the need arise and you need to come in uh, for a walk-in basis, those are usually accommodated uh, unless the clinic is just overwhelmed that day. Uh, there's a really a good chance you're going to be able to get in and see the doc that day. If uh, it's a very emergent um, condition, then obviously we recommend our patients to go to the emergency room. But if it's just a, an ailment or something that's keeping them out of work or just really nagging them, then we, uh, we encourage them to come in for a walk-in, and those are almost always honored. What specific services are available at Pikeville Medical Center's Family Practice Clinic? Pikeville Medical Center Family Practice Clinic. Benefits that you can expect from using the Pikeville uh, Medical Center Family Practice Clinic include uh, the fact that we practice uh, evidence-based medicine which means uh, it's a teaching facility, it's a teaching environment. So uh, we stay very current on all our treatment plans, guidelines, uh, use appropriate medicine based on evidence, which is studies uh, that are focused specifically on that disorder and the most efficacious treatment plan possible. Another benefit is the fact that it is nestled right in the Pikeville Medical Center. Uh, 
this hospital has grown exponentially since I started here as a student. The number of services that we can offer now is really, uh, really impressive. We can, we have specialists that we didn't have before, and so we can, if you have something wrong that requires a specialist's attention, we can refer you and it is done on the same campus. You don't have to travel all over the place. We have all types of diagnostic things, MRIs, uh, basically anything you need on campus. So you don't have to leave uh, and be bounced all over town trying to get your care done. And it's just very convenient and it helps with the continuity of care. Also, there's a, there's a team teaching approach. So when, when you come into the clinic and you're, uh, uh, you see a, a medical assistant um, and they, they take your blood pressure and, and uh, uh, get you to the room that you're going to be seen in, and then a resident physician is going to come in and take a detailed history of what's going on with you, a physical examination, and then they'll come back and meet with the, the teaching team and, uh, and present your case, uh, discuss uh, why you're there, what findings they have, and suggest a plan of action, and then we'll review that with them, and, uh, and we use it as a teaching tool for the residents, but also as kind of a second consultation that you get as part of your visit. Um, you'll always meet the attending physician on your first visit, uh, who's generally supervising your care as well as the resident, and then if there's questions that you have, we'll be able to address those for you. Another benefit that I've uh, that's been brought to my attention a lot lately is often my patients will say, I've never had a physician be this thorough before. And I think that is because of the structure. It's a learning environment. Uh, the residents aren't overwhelmed with numbers. We're, we're not seeing 50 patients a day or anything like that. So we have the time to be thorough. And uh, I think that's a, a really nice benefit from using this clinic as well. What about my medications? Is there an easier way to get my meds at the hospital? Well, one uh, convenience uh, for the patient is that when we prescribe medication, uh, we use a computer system that does that. And so it, you can designate where you'd like your prescriptions to go. So it, it eliminates the process of putting a prescription in your hand and then going to a pharmacy, dropping it off, and then having a long wait uh, until that prescription is filled. Uh, when you come in, you can designate which pharmacy you like your medicines to go to. We can send those electronically and, uh, and uh, have them ready for you most of the time by the time you get to the pharmacy. Another question we often get is where are we located? Uh, we're located in the second floor of the Pikeville Medical Center. Uh, to access it by vehicle, you take the Harold's Branch Road uh, turn off and you just continue and go down on your right. There's a little ramp that goes down by the emergency room entrance. What about parking? How in the world will I find a parking place? There's a lot of construction going on at the hospital and it will be going on for a long time. Where do I park? Valet parking is available 24-7, so it doesn't matter what time of night, whenever you need it, they're there for you. Just drop your car off and they'll park it for you and bring it back when you're ready to leave. Uh, there's also a parking lots available across the street. Uh, you can park there and take the shuttle buses uh, across and they'll drop you off at the appropriate entrance. If you have special needs, uh, for instance, like an, a wheelchair or something like that, you can phone ahead and they'll make arrangements so that when you arrive they'll have uh, whatever piece of equipment you require uh, waiting for you, ready to accommodate whatever special need you have. Also, the, um, some people complain and view the, uh, the construction as a hindrance or, a, uh, or an inconvenience, but uh, me personally, I believe it's actually easier now to gain access to the hospital. You don't have to uh, trouble yourself with finding a parking spot. You just pull up, valet takes care of all that, you walk right in and uh, your car is waiting on you when they get out. So it's actually um, really not that big of a hindrance. It might even be better. We would like to invite you uh, to come and uh, be a uh, patient at the uh, Pikeville Medical Center uh, Family Doctors Clinic. Uh, as you can see when you uh, pull up to the hospital that we are growing, um, and we're growing because we really have a, a concern about our patients. Uh, and we would like to invite you to become our patient uh, and to come into our clinic. Uh, if you would like to visit the hospital or come see the clinic, uh, the number is uh, 218-4800. Uh, we invite you uh, to visit it at, at any time 
uh, please give us a call and we'll do what we can to provide your health care needs. Thank you for joining us today for Health Talk. If you have questions about the physicians and services provided at PMC, feel free to contact the Pikeville Medical Center Family Practice Clinic at 606-218-4800.